Ignore the mess in my background, but I want to talk about a problem I have. You see, I haven't changed the profile picture of this YouTube channel in three years, three whole years. And no, this is not because I'm not able to click a good photo of myself. Actually, wait, whom am I kidding? I haven't been able to click a good photo of myself in the last three years. And so at every single place, I'm using the same profile photo. The problem is not just that I haven't been able to click a good photo of myself. The problem is that I don't know how to pose. All of my photos either look like this, that or this one. Yeah, please don't talk about any of these. So I keep on wondering, AI is getting really good. Maybe there is an AI solution to fix this problem. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard, right? Wrong. Because one of the best AI models that we have right now, that is ChatGPT, it's really great at converting your images into Ghibli images, but when it comes to having your image look like you but with better lighting or better pose, it does a terrible job at that. So then the question really becomes, how do we fix that? Is it even possible to find a solution to this problem or do I just have to figure out how to click better photos of myself, find better lighting and all that kind of stuff? Ugh. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. I was really about to give up on this idea of clicking the perfect photo for myself until I found out about Google's new image model that is Nano Banana. Now, if you don't know about Nano Banana, it's Google's latest AI model for image generation. And the highlight of that model is that it is supposed to preserve the context of the image while making edits. So basically, if you give it your image and ask it to change the background, it does that in a considerably less amount of money compared to all existing models. I mean, it's just 39 cents or three rupees if you're Indian and that's not much. I'm okay paying three rupees if my image is gonna get better in some way or if I'm able to change the profile picture on my YouTube. So then I tried out Nano Banana on a bunch of my pictures, hoping that this would be the solution to the problem of me never getting a perfect picture for myself. I tried, it works on some images and it doesn't work on most of them. Why? It seemed to have like a very common problem. The common problem is unless the subject is placed in a very plain background, it does a almost terrible job at updating stuff. So I thought about it and it seemed like an easy problem to solve. I could just take the image, remove the background, send it to Nano Banana, get the image back, put the image back on the original background and hope that it all looks decent for my Instagram or my YouTube profile pic. Turns out it does work. And so I went to Cursor and created this very simple app that basically merges all these workflows into one. So it will remove the background, send it to Nano Banana, change the pose based on what you want it to be and then put the background back again. And it only takes like a couple of minutes and a couple of cents to do this. And uh, yeah, that's, that's hopefully the solution to my problem. Not really, I still need a lot more features in this app, things like maybe updating the background, maybe fixing the lighting, or I don't know, adding some props or stuff like that to make it Instagram ready. I don't really have time to do that right now. I mean, I'm going on a trip next week to New York City. That's pretty cool, but I haven't done any sort of planning yet. And so I'm gonna put the code here in the description of this video if one of you guys want to take this up as your side project. Um, take it, run away with it. I want you to turn this into a fully fleshed app where if I upload an image, I get a bunch of different options to change the background, fix the lighting, change the pose and a bunch of other stuff. And finally, get a picture that I can post on Instagram or on my YouTube um, profile pic. If you're able to do that, I'll change my YouTube profile pic. If you're not able to do that, that's fine. Once I come back, I'll update that app and then make it available for all of you guys to use. But yeah, I won't be uploading any video for the next two weeks since I'm out. But once I come back, I'll do more streams. So if you have some ideas for a stream, drop them in the comment section. I started feeling that I talk a bit too fast in these videos, but if that's problematic for you, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little fun experiment of um, Google's new AI model for image generation. With that being said, follow me on X. You'll find the link on the description. I do a lot of shit posting there and on Instagram if you want to see the images from that trip. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye.